whatever diet you're doing, you know, don't just stick to the, don't find the loopholes. Don't find the loopholes in the coming from two people that have done the loopholes. Yeah. Don't look for that. That's not the point. One of my favorite memories ever is we, uh, Ty and I got a certification together and we were like paleo and we had cheat day. So on Saturday we roll up to this, like this serious certification with a bunch of fitness people and it was our cheat day. So what do we do midnight the night before? Well, your cheat day is from midnight to 1159. So we made like what? 10 grilled cheeses and just housed them. Yeah, but do you remember like how we did like different types of grilled cheeses? That was so good. It was so good. We did peanut butter on one. And it was delicious. It was delicious. That was a, that was crazy. I was yeah. mind blown by that. So we definitely took advantage of the cheat day term. Yeah, do not look for the loopholes. That's not the point. So so the good vegetarian, bad vegetarian argument's easy. You have the potatoes, like pizza and french fry vegetarian. And yeah. then you have like the bean sprouts over whole grain bread with avocado and tomato. And not saying that you can't be vegan and have both, but you got to make choices that make sense. And I think every diet, every person on every diet should have a mostly vegetable plate. Every single meal. I can say I agree in theory. Not in practice. Is that because you don't like vegetables? because I don't do that at all. <laughs> well, well, just because <clears throat> just it's right doesn't mean we're doing it perfectly because we're just two guys getting fit. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. No, totally, totally valid point. But yeah, I think you should, have, you should probably be eating more plant-based foods than you should animal products. That's just... Yeah, you'd never make... It's never a bad decision to eat more plants. Yeah. Now... Well, um, yeah, I'm not like an expert in either one of these categories, veganism or vegetarianism, uh, but I'm you know, fairly certain that the delineation between the two is the, ve- the vegan has nothing that comes from an animal period, mm-hmm. whereas a vegetarian can still eat like eggs and milk and stuff like that and cheese, uh, as long as they're not killing an animal or eating the flesh, I believe, yep. something, something of that nature. Right. But um, I'm not well-versed on the benefits of these diets other than what we all know about vegetables being good for you and, you know, red meat's bad and that sort of stuff. But like, other than that, I don't really know the good arguments for these beyond like the ethical components. Mm -hmm. So um, you saw Game Changer? I saw, so this is a good one. I've only seen like 20 to 30 minutes of it and then I... I personally, I thought it was just like a bunch of bullshit. <laughs> right, right. So, so I, was, I, was like, I can't handle this. <laughs> yeah, there were some smart people who know more about nutrition science than I do, who have said that it was inflammatory at the yeah. very least. It was way too obviously biased <laughs> for me to spend any more time watching it. Yes. Yeah. If it was, it, it could have even generally been. Like it could have been in the right direction and mostly true, maybe, I don't know. 
but because the bias was so obvious, I just couldn't. Did you ever see the Al Gore talk about climate change? No. Okay, so that one was pretty popular too. It was the same thing. It was, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Sensational mm. journalism. Yeah, yeah, gotcha. So it turns out that he was lying about a lot of facts, but the results, like his point was still true. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like maybe right. the point of the documentary is still generally true. Valid, yeah. But I just couldn't watch any more of it because it was so obviously biased that mm. I knew that like, I knew whatever I was getting wouldn't be the whole truth. And so yeah, I and that sucks because they're probably right, but I don't like extremism. Like you don't need to be extremist to tell me that vegetables are good. Like I, I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I so, buy into that. So just give me some valid science that I can rely on. Yeah. Don't try to sell me on some pipe dream. Don't try to point to marathon runners who were like really skinny, like, um, Oh, so they profiled a power lifter or a strong man. I didn't see that part. I saw the part where they profiled, like, uh, I believe it was like some marathon runner or something like that. And also um, a football player, MMA fighter. I thought they said MMA. MMA yep. An MMA fighter who I believe it was Nate Diaz. They talked about, I think, does that ring a bell? They said he uh, did this rope drill for an hour. Whatever that is. far? No. So they had him doing this drill, right? One rope in each hand. And he was battle just like, ropes. he was just doing battle ropes. And he said like the record on the wall was like, I don't know, eight minutes for doing battle ropes. Okay. And then he went vegan for however long he picked up the battle ropes and he did battle ropes for 60 minutes. Okay. But this is exactly what they would say in that documentary. Like what you just said is what mm -hmm. they said. Yeah. And that tells you nothing. No, it was like, like you, it's like saying you beat a world record by like five X. Yeah. You don't do that. You don't do that. But also there's no context there. Like how is that even measured? I'm sure there is a way to measure it, but you didn't give me any of the, the results. You didn't say like, there's no wattage output. There's no, no. intensity output. There's no like calories burned. If that would be, it was just battle ropes like this for an hour. Yeah, I guarantee you. I guarantee you. I'm going to go on record here right now. Guarantee you I can do that right now. For one hour. For one hour, yeah. It doesn't say how hard I have to go. You're right. Just I just have to shake my fucking arms with some ropes in my hand. For an hour. I can do that, guaranteed. I can sit all at right. the desk all day and type like this, like a monkey, for an <laughs> hour. If I can do that. Hey, that's how I type. If I can do that, I can shake my arms with some ropes, okay? Okay. Now, if you want to say how hard are you going, if yep. you want to quantify that in some sort of way, that's a totally different ballgame. Which there was none. Which there was none, exactly. Battle ropes are really hard. But just by saying I can do it for an hour, that doesn't tell me anything about how hard you were going. So the part that stuck out to me about the documentary was they did this blood test thing. They gave, they made a chip, three different Chipotle bowls. Um, and they was vegan and then they test their blood and then they gave them a regular one and test their blood. And they showed you these vials that were like really nasty. Like one of the vials was super fatty. So let me see if I can, I can look it up. But the idea was that the veganism, their blood was clear and clean. And once they had one animal protein meal, it was sludge. <laughs> yeah. Just instantly, like my hematocrit would be like 50. Like I'm dying. Like, okay, so on surface level, that sounds like it's obviously like Coke's not real. About, it's yeah. like fake or whatever. Yeah. But even if it were real, like who's to say that that would even necessarily be a bad thing? It sounds like it should be a bad thing. But you know, we have like a lot of disgusting liquids in our bodies, right? <laughs> yeah, so it's, it showed that he had uh, black beans and then his uh, plasma, because they put it in a centrifuge, was relatively clear. And then when they did the meat, which was beef, it was super cloudy. But like, again, I don't know what that means. 
yeah I need somebody to tell me what that means right and i don't think they do i think they just rely on the fact that it looks bad you know what i mean did you ever hear the banana argument and this is like a, a god argument no we were meant to eat fruit and bananas because if you make a god god is real because when you hold a banana and you make a fist you have like one two three four you make like five angles on your hand oh. and a banana has five sides so that's so yeah god's real because of the banana yeah obviously that makes more sense than this fucking movie